We are gonna rock and roll. Ziad, of course, needs no introduction. We are fiercely independent, bipartisan completely, and we intend to stay this way. We are here to expose the truth. Actionable intelligence. I want every single one in this room to be one day a millionaire and a billionaire. That's a hell of a legacy. Without further delays, Mark Scouser. Jihad mentioned something about obscene wealth, that we should be happy about that. Yeah. I do have a fun definition of obscene profits. What are obscene profits? It's something you always hear about, but never experience yourself. That's often the problem. Our topic is, when are the bears going to be right, and can they make us any money? Everybody has a plan until you're punched in the face. Ziad and I have put together this panel. Markets that do not go down on bearish news are not bear markets. It appears we're still in this bull market after six years. Yeah, I disagree when you said we had a six year recovery. We haven't recovered from anything. We've had six years of bubble blowing. And I think the economy is in much worse shape today than it was six years ago. Just ask the average person on Main Street. He's, he's living in it. Uh, but the Fed is trying to keep this bubble from deflating. And maybe that is what uh, supported the market. I think really the stock market is not the only indicator of a strong economy. It's one of many. That's the only indicator that's positive, that's working. The AIG restructuring was a great success. We repaid all of the government assistance with a $23 billion profit. The problem was the financial products business, the derivatives business, and that had to be downsized. We were not forced into a fire sale at the bottom of the market, and therefore we could realize on asset value over time. Fire sales are never good things. I deal nationally, and what's amazing is, is that my business has never been better. Everywhere in the country, people are making money, and the unemployment rate, I agree with Ziad, is about 22%. That's because we're shadow stats guys. That's, the, that's where the real numbers are, yep. right? Yep. What I'm reasonably certain about is if the Fed raises interest rates, if interest rates go up, taxes have to go up because the government is broke. And the reality is, is the estate tax has been permanently eliminated three times in the past. There's nothing as permanent as a estate tax that's temporary. People have to be exceptionally proactive about handling the things that they actually can do something about because everything else is handling it. Nothing can make the spirit fly higher than finding a bargain when you're the buyer. Absolutely. And nothing can make the spirit sink deeper than finding it later a little bit cheaper. <laughs>